How's it going guys? Welcome back to Keith. Just um first update on my very first ever 135th scale tank. I'm sorry I'm holding my phone in my hand. I have got a lamp on here as well and the lamp on my phone. Um yeah it went together great, I loved it, I enjoyed it, I just couldn't stop building it I have the tracks to go on I have all the tools on the side hatchets axes like um the span up things that's on it, uh, other parts as well um yeah it went together great to be honest um didn't give me any problems I do have to just neatly sand a few of the parts that I clipped off sprues to get the little fragments of tail ends off the bits that were snipped off the, scr the sprues if you know what I mean for instance on the little handle see in the middle I just have to sand that off but I'm gonna let the cement go completely hard before I do the same with the, t the thing the holes the bullets or whatever the holes this thing here you can see where it's um where it was snipped off so like it's still in it's a uh, model um color it's molded color so a little sanding a bit of primer and then oil airbrush it paint it either what it looks like on the on the box or it could go with a few different colours. There's like the sandy colour. Um the uh, olive drab colour, the khaki colour. Of a few colours that I can mix and match and do like a a, a camouflage on you know a camo so I've, this is my first tank ever so yeah just let me know what you think of it I did i did build it quick in my eyes i think i built it quick the tracks i left off because they didn't go on at any time i want to put them on after i paint it all the wheels are movable on the tracks they all move they all have their own um as you know um rubber grommet in the middle to make the wheel spin so yeah, I hope you like it. Forest tank, as I said, I think it turned out alright. All it needs now is a sanding, priming. I'll hand paint little parts like the gun and that. Um, I didn't glue the big barrel of the gun in. I can't take the top of the turret, turret thing off. It is turnable. It does turn. It does a three sixty as it's supposed to, as you can see there. It does all that. It does everything it's supposed to do, so yeah, for the four me first tank it's a grand old um it went together nicely. No problems with it. I, I just couldn't stop building it it just went together so good you know what I mean it, it probably being to me maybe that's part of the reason why it's it went together so well but um yeah I could have a, a as you can see it's a it's off a key this piece of plastic you're looking at is it part of a track for a 124 scale motorbike I got three of them with three bikes in a kit that Seamus sent me in 124 scale I could also build this tank on it as a diorama type thing like put grass around or whatever you know so we'll see how it turns out and anyway I'll touch up all like the axes and I don't know if you use metal or do you paint them green or I know you I'll put in some wood handles and 
a couple of silver parts here and there for axes or whatever but um, if you have any um, recommendations on what I should do certain parts let me know gladly listen to you as a feedback on it because as I said it's my first time building a tank I myself sound it looks alright so yeah I've two more tanks now in me um stash the priest from Italy and the whippet from uh what's the name of that brand M her E M H A O So yeah of the whippet and the priest and then I have that one to one thirty second scale military helicopter up there also so yeah I have a few of uh, like a few military things to build still so I enjoyed this tank and you have these do now I have been building like the little one thirty fifth scale stuff for me diorama which is separate to the tanks because I don't think I'll lose a tank in the zombie diorama when I do finally get around to building that. It's the buildings I want to um I want to get little um buildings and want to make like a little site type thing if you get me for the zombie diorama. So like the zombies are trying to get in but they're being kept out by the security gates and the security people. Like, so that's the plan and anyway for that that way around so that'll be coming soon but um yeah let us know and anyway if you have any ideas what I should paint handles of axes and pickaxes and shovels on of and um the gun on now we do that flat black do I leave the barrel or do I camel the barrel on the tank the way it is on the box art same colour as the tank so yeah I've plenty of options I could do but I do know that um, so if you, anyone wants to jump in and help me with a uh, few ideas I'll take on your sort of ideas on board no problem man give them a thought and see how they work test a few Anyway, I have a few things as well to still put on, like they're like mirrors. I don't, I don't know why I think it have mirrors, but I don't even know if they're mirrors. That these things on the box, them, I have them there to be mounted on. And um, yeah, there's a couple of lamps that you can put anywhere on the tank. That's with the little finger that comes with it. The tank um, major sergeant type fella that comes with the kit so yeah that's it that's the kit already built so it's just getting down to painting and now as you know the tracks are that you clip them together to make them connect so like they're one piece straight and then you just connect four little pins them four pins to make them into the rubber track so yeah thanks for watching let us know what you think sorry about the shaky camera and um, yeah first time building it and i'm happy with the outcome thank you Bye.